President Donald Trump says he is slapping a 5% tariff on all Mexican imports. This to pressure the country to crack down on migrants trying to cross the border. But why Arizona business owners fear they will be the ones to pay and have to pass it on to the consumers. President Trump watched the surveillance video and 24 hours later, he has made a huge announcement. That announcement coming in yesterday, President Trump saying he will now impose new tariffs on every item imported from Mexico in an, in an attempt to curb immigration. Yeah, in fact, we're talking about starting on June 10th. The U.S. will impose a 5% tariff on all goods coming into our country from Mexico, and we should have uh, expect it to affect things like food, appliances, cars. So let's bring in Erin e. She's joining us live tracking exactly what this will mean for us here in Arizona. Erin e., good morning. Good morning, guys. Yeah, I'm at Willie Tuli Produce in Phoenix. They are a fruit and vegetable distributor for 40 years here in the Valley. I am learning so much today. One tidbit of a, a tip that I learned was that most of the fruits and vegetables during the winter actually come from Mexico. And joining me is the owner, Mr. I. Tuli. Good morning. Good morning to you. Tell us, if this 5% tariff that's imposed, if it is actually imposed, how would that affect you? And then how would that carry on to the customers and people that you service? Well, what's going to happen is if the tariff, which is supposed to come on June 10th, in, in the produce field uh, for fruits and vegetables, we're going to be dodging a big bull it because just like you said the Mexican growing season is coming to an end so now starting in June and July and going on for about five months domestically we're going to be growing a lot of the fruits and vegetables that we're doing so we've dodged a big bullet there but during the winter months like you pointed out just about every fruit and vegetable that we're consuming especially in the West is grown in Mexico so you're going to see the prices will go up once again produce is on supply and demand but that 5% tariff and if it keeps going up is going to be in the mix somewhere. And you said that you would initially or see the brunt of this tariff if this actually extends beyond October. If, if it continues on, you know, in if it continues on, the tariff keeps going up. Yeah, prices are going to go up because it's going to just cost more money for the product to come into the United States. So right now with the seasonal shift, uh, most of the goods are being phased out from coming in from Mexico, and then it will shift, what, to California? California is going to be the main growing area. So we are dodging a big bullet there, which is good. I mean, we definitely want uh, you know our consumers to eat healthy, and, and produce is a big part of it. So we're in a good thing right there. The one major thing, though, you have to remember is avocados, which are going through the roof right now. 85% right. of the crop that the United States consumes is grown in Mexico. California, which we have California also growing some, but Mexico's the big, big producer coming in here, and they're year-round. So we're hitting a critical time on avocados. July, August, and September is when the price goes crazy on them. So with the tariff coming in, you'll see higher uh, guacamole prices for sure. Okay, so avocados will be impacted regardless. Some other things will be impacted, goods. Um, um, auto parts and things like that. But one thing that you mentioned is those you don't really have to buy. Those are food. choices. Yeah. You know, I mean, now now we're, it's going to get to the point where, especially when if we get into the Mexican growing season, where, you know, we're going to, we have to have, we have to have good food. And, and that's what's especially so important with young children, teaching them to eat healthy and things like that. We don't want to take any, uh, anything away from what we've strived to get them doing right now, eating healthy on that. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. And I Tuli Produce actually services a lot of the school districts, so a lot of the fruits and vegetables that the schools get come actually from his business. So I'll send it back to you in the studio. Yeah, we're also going to watch the markets very closely. They're expected to dive as soon as they open. Thank you, Erin. We'll continue to follow this from all angles.